Retired by Choice back once again with another fun tabulous video. This time made with saccharin. All right. Um, basically, this is going to be a real quick uh, pickup video. Nothing too, uh, nothing too exciting happening this week. Um, I was actually going into this week anticipating making a video for maybe hints and tips um, how to maintain your equipment and whatnot. But uh, then I started finding things, so it quickly evolved from maybe here's one thing I found, and here's a tip to, you know, straight up just pick a find. Um, so I will be making another video later on this week. Um, definitely, definitely. I, I have more than enough material to do so. So let's go ahead and get into the collecting, the finding, the pickups for the week. I went into this week uh, in the mindset of not having any pickups and just doing a a hints video. Um, but then, like, as I said, I started finding more things and uh, it quickly changed. So, the first place I went was the the waterfront mission here in town. And I went through the whole entire store. I found nothing. There was, there was nothing I wanted to pick up. There was nothing worth picking up. A couple of games there, but they're all like NCAA 2004's, the GameCube or uh, you know, those kind of games, games that no one wants, the sports title, the college sports games that no one really wants. But as I was about to leave, I decided to go check the, uh, the electronics department a little bit better. And there on the wall, for three ninety nine was this Mad Cat's RF adapter. It says it's compatible for the uh, PS2, uh, PS2 Slim, Xbox, GameCube, uh, PS1 and N64. So, like I said, I got for $3.99. Um, yeah, it actually, it's funny because I had to literally check the price because on the box here, right next to it, it says Kmart clearance, $2.50. And you can see the original price of uh, $8.99 up here, and it got marked down to 6 and eventually got marked down to two, uh, 2 50 Waterfront decided to put their own tag of three ninety nine. I had her check the price. She said, "Well, as you can see, it is still in the box. So um, we estimate its value at around two dollars and ninety nine cents." And I was like, "You know what? I'm not going to argue with it. I'm not going to argue with a dollar forty nine because um, I really don't need it. But it's nice to have just in case I do need it. So that is that from the waterfront." Then I went to our Goodwill here in town, and I almost didn't go because this is all I, you know, this is all I found at the waterfront. Why would I expect to find anything else uh, here in town or at the Goodwill? So I was actually passing by it, and then I, I had this pulling feeling I needed to stop and go in, and I'm glad I did because I found a few things. Um, first thing I found for a dollar ninety nine was uh, this copy of Super C. Now, it's not in the best condition. I didn't notice it when I picked it up. I just, I got so excited seeing Super C. I was like, oh my god, I got to get that right now. So I, I jumped, grabbed it, and I was walking away. But, I don't know if you can see this or not, but the label right there is all peeled up and gone. Um, there is a big old hole right here where someone stabbed it with a knife. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like someone stabbed it with a knife. So there's that. But then around the edges down here at the bottom, it looks like it's been taped up. Well, it has been taped up. So this thing's been used, abused, and uh, put back together. I don't know if it works. I really don't know if it works or not. But as soon as I get an NES, I'll test it out and find out. Um, I wish I would have checked out a little bit better. Uh, like I said, I saw it and got excited. And uh, my my cooler head should prevail, but it did not. So I'm on my way out of the store with that. But before I st I did I I stopped and I found a few more things. For a dollar ninety nine, I found Nickelodeon, ah! Real Monsters. This too is in a little bit of rough shape. There's uh some pin marks right there, pieces of labels missing. But a dollar ninety nine, I can't pass it up. If nothing else, it could be a, a placeholder for my uh, collection until I can get. Another copy of each. Uh, another thing I found was uh, also for a dollar ninety-nine. 
uh, Mech Warrior 3050. This one is in better shape. It's dirty. Uh, and the back looks like, I don't know, almost like someone let their dog, like, play chew toy with it or something. I don't know. But, like I said, you know, temporary placeholder for now. It's, a, it's nothing else. Then, um, I also found this, uh, I don't know, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, uh, Wiley, Wiley Country Club, it's a golf game, uh, it's in cleaner shape, it's still a little dirty, but it looks a lot better than the other two copies, so, I picked that up, then I went over to my, uh, local GameStop, and I picked up a couple games there, um, $2.99, I picked up a copy of, uh, too human. Now, this game's been out for a couple of years now. It came out in 08. And, uh, it was one of those games that, that was, uh, highly anticipated. It had been in production for almost 10 years. And everyone was, was clamoring to get a hold of it. And when they finally did it, it just did not perform up to the level that everyone expected it to. Um, but the reason I picked it up was because I read an article recently about uh, Silicon Knights and how they had to do a recall and destroy all unsold copies of their uh, of, of this game and a few other their games uh, because of a lawsuit between them and Epic Games where they used Epic's uh, Unreal Engine to make this game and didn't credit or, or pay royalties to do so. So they were they were sued, lost the lawsuit, ordered to destroy all unsold copies, and uh, I heard somewhere that GameStop was probably going to stop selling this, so I, I went ahead and grabbed it. It was a good thing I did, too. Uh, I got this for, like I said, two ninety nine used. My friend who was with me got a, a new copy for $6, and they're the only two copies in the entire store. Uh, now, we could have probably gone down to the one down in Fort Walton Beach and, and seen if they had it down, down there, but that's a half an hour's drive, um, and down there and back to quarter tank of gas that I was just not willing to spend. So, I got this. I mean, it, it's nothing else. It's got a cool story to it. Um, will it be worth anything? Probably not. Um, but like I said, it's got a cool story to it. But while I was there, I also picked up a couple games that, uh, I didn't expect to find. For... 67 cents. I was able to pick up. Let me get it open first because it's really crinkly. For 67 cents, I was able to pick up Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 for the GameCube. Right now, I, I told you this the last time I was there that um, my GameStop's doing a 75% off sale on all of their GameCube games. So I was able to pick up that for 67 cents. It was marked uh, two sixty nine before, I think. So two dollars off, not bad. Then I also got for ninety cents the Tony Hawk Pro Skater Four for the GameCube, and this is complete manual game. Game looks brand new. I mean, it looks like there's not one single scratch on it. My friend's like, "Oh, he probably just resurfaced it." I mean, I was like, "No, dude, this looks like it." Someone bought it, opened it, and then put it in a closet for six years, seven years, whatever it was. That's what it looks like, but those are my pickups, man. That's it. Uh, I'll, let me show you this real quick. Complete booklet game. But also, in case you don't believe me when I paid, I don't know if you can see this or not, but 67 cents, right? There. 67 cents for three. Uh, 90 cents for four. And, oh, I paid 2.69 for for two human because of my uh, discount card. So, that's pretty cool. Now, um, that's pretty much it for my pickup. That, actually, I'm sorry. That is it for my, my pickups. I have found nothing else. So, not too bad, I guess. I mean, it could be better. Um, 
but this week I did experience something I, I've never experienced before. Um, I lost my first subscriber. Uh, for more, for whatever reason it was, someone who's, who was subscribed to me decided that I wasn't providing them with enough uh, entertainment or I wasn't doing my, my job well enough to uh, continue their support. So I was kind of bummed out about that for a little bit. But then, uh, over the course of a day or two, I got two more subscribers. So, um, win win for me, I guess. Um, it would be core if I could have had those two plus the one I lost, but what can you do? What can you say? Not everyone's going to be keen to what you do. Which is fine with me, actually. I don't, I don't mind. Um, so that actually puts me at 30 subscribers now. And I believe last time I checked was uh, 1,300 views. Well, 1,302 to be exact. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not doing too bad. Um, I think once uh, I start getting more subscribers, I can, I can open up this channel a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's it for me right now. Um, I will have another video coming up later on this week. Um, I'm not going to say what it is exactly, but it will be something I've done before in the past, so... And don't worry, it's not Mad Libs. <laughs> it's, it's, it's something that I've done before. Um, and that is all. If you want, you can subscribe. If you don't, that's fine too. Uh, like, dislike, comment. I was always love the comments. No, keep them coming. Um, and that's it. So, as always, naive by nature, retire by choice. Peace.